I'm with Sophia Huck, uh, aka Poppy from Coronation Street, who got thrown out of the Rover's Return. How many how many barmaids have actually been sacked and thrown out of Rover's Return? Well, I mean, oh, when, I, when I hello, yeah. when I found out uh, mm. that I was even, I obviously wanted to know how. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, they told me that I was to sack Betty. Oh. You know, and right. uh, so obviously that well, would cause a kerfuffle, and yeah, you know, yeah. I'd have to leave. Right. Um, you may go back into Coronation Street. You've got other work coming up. Mm -hmm. But I thought we'd try and speed up the process, okay? And I know you've been done to work on some Asian channels. You know, that's, yeah, I'm, yeah. You know, I'd like to get back to that. <laughs> so, route. so, and um, we're going to call it Sheena Poppet. Now, I've not spoken to Sheena, but um, our producers have. She's a producer at MATV Mera Apna TV. Uh, let's give her a ring. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> Hello, is that Sheena? Yes, it is. Hi, Sheena. It's an Adel Ray from the BBC Asia Network. Oh, hello. How hey. are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Um, so you're a producer at MATV, yeah? That's right. I've got a friend here, dear friend of mine, okay. um, Sophia Huck. You may know Sophia. She played Poppy in Co well, she plays Poppy in Coronation Street. She was on last night. Oh yes. Um, and, and you may have seen her in Bombay Dreams and Far Pavilions. Say hello to Sophia. Hi, Sophia. Hi, Sheena. How are I'm, you? I'm good, thanks. And you? Yeah, very good. Very excited to talk to you, actually. Me too. Um, talk to you. Well, well, look, but basically, here's what it is. Um, Soph's looking for more work, and um, I'm kind of trying to help her out. So we thought we'd try, um, we, we'd try our best and pitch some ideas um, to MATV and see whether you may be interested in taking them on. I mean, uh, is that all right? Can we give, give you some ideas? Okay, yeah. great. Okay. Um, so, f um, take it away. Well, yeah, I mean, I I'd love to get back to my old presenting days. Mm -hmm. um, and you said you did live chat shows. But how about, like, a recorded chat show where I um, interview really big names, respected artists, like Amitabh Bachchan or George Clooney. Wow, well, that sounds or, uh, good. Ashwarya Rai, you know? Yeah. Um, are you liking that so far? I am so far. Well, but here's a twist. Um, in the recording session, I just ask them straightforward questions, you know, nothing offensive. Yeah. But... In the editing process, I we switch the questions and we cut in something that makes their answers sound completely ludicrous. Oh, and they come right. off as really stupid. That's brilliant. That. You know, you could get yeah. into all kinds of legal battles oh, and yeah. a, a big press for all. You'll what get, do you think? You'll get in the papers, don't you? That'd be brilliant. Yeah. That does sound interesting. Oh, brilliant. Oh. Excellent. So we've got to we've go got on that yeah. one. That's a good one. Okay, another one? Another one? Oh, got, um, oh, oh, um, what about, um, you know how people love their pets? Yeah. So I thought about the TV show for animals. You know, you could shoot it at low angles, get sort of doggy angles, and mm. uh, and this is where I come in mm -hmm. um, because not a lot of people know this, but I actually can and understand and speak to animals. Okay. So uh, really? Yeah. So oh, wow. whereas David Attenborough would do a voiceover like, "Here we are in the heart of the," I would do like, <clears throat> "Excuse me." <laughs> See, oh, you get that. That's great. So, you, so you, you, so you would like you, you would bark at the dogs. And the dogs would love it. That's love really it. I good. Could, I could become famous throughout the animal that's kingdom. That's really good. That's really good. I mean, you'd have to do it outside of house because a lot of Asians don't like dogs in the house. Well, so you have to do it yeah. outside. and of course, it's good for animals right. that have telly. Okay. What do we think of that one, Sheena? Hmm, that was a good one, but I'd have to think about that one. Right. Okay. Mm. No, you're not really good. Okay. Let me let me see if I can. I've, I've got one. Um. I've got one here called Huck, it's Sophia Huck, right? So I've got one called Huck, Line and Sinker. Um, basically, Sophia goes fishing. Uh-huh. Mm, okay. All right, not like that. All right, what about, what about this one? I've got one here. Um, for God's sake, right? For God's sake, people call in with their ailments, with their, their aches and pains, and Sophia uh, becomes a... She's not religious at all right now, but, but she becomes a religious expert for the show uh, and gives out advice. I Ah, I see, for mm. God's sake. See, I knew you'd like that one, for God's sake. What do you reckon, Soph? No, okay. All right, Soph, you got any more? Um, no. Well, this one has never been done before, mm. never been done. Mm. Um, you take, uh, imagine like a drama, a daily drama centred around the lives of ordinary people. Um, wow. Like, you know, a South Hall or some, right. a spot in the UK, perhaps. Mm. And, uh, you know, there could be a cafe or a, or a pub like where a people pub. meet. Yeah. And talk. Do you know what I mean? And, yeah. and this could go on for years. And, uh, you know, the audience can really get involved yeah, in like these old, characters' old lives. Old people and young people. But, you, you know, it's original. You've got to give me that. Yeah. What do you I, think? Th I love that one. I think that's a great one. Oh, excellent. Okay. Here's, here's one. I've got one. Okay. Um... Uh, family misfortunes, right? Sophia hosts this unique game show where two warring families compete for a big money prize where they answer questions taken from a survey of a hundred extended families. And family members. <laughs> oh, what do you think? 
Yeah, that would be amazing. That would be really good. Great. Uh, see, see, I'm like, like okay. What about that? Well, I'm on a bit of a roll now. What about this one? Cash in the attic. Um, Soph's, um, Soph tries to track down her ex-boyfriend who hides in attics in houses in London. <laughs> his name is Cash. And his name is Cash. Yeah. And she has to try and find him. She knocks on your door and says, is Cash in your attic? <laughs> that sounds like a fun one. So, see, she's liking these. She's, we could oh, yeah. just do the whole channel. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, have you got any more? Uh, um, yeah, there's, um, I'm an immigrant, get me into here. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, that's good. Twelve <laughs> hopefuls are given two weeks to survive in the back of a refrigeration truck. Yeah. With, uh, say, only me as entertainment. Yeah, um, oh, oh, right. And only one contestant will win a three-bedroom house in Tower Hamlets. What she, do you think, Sheena? I love that one too. Right, oh, you yeah. like it. You like them all so here. Yeah. I mean, you, so, I so what, like, what kind of pictures do you normally get? Then? <laughs> <laughs> you say yes to everything. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay, um, alright, okay, one more. Um, come dine on time with me. <laughs> the contestants are invited to each other's place for dinner. At the end of the week, the winner is the person who arrived on time each night. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what do you think? I'm not sure. Okay, uh, Soph's sofas. Sophia travels the country and sleeps on people's sofas and finds uh, what has fallen down the side of the cushions. Families are rewarded for every pound that is found, but they will fail if she discovers a toenail. That's the two part mm, of that one. That's exactly, yeah. <laughs> means that, that needs a bit of work, doesn't yeah, it, really? Okay. Yeah. Maybe it's not a two part, maybe it's a three piece. Three, three parts. Okay. okay, so out of all of them that we've given you today, um, um, uh, what's it, Sheena from um, MATV, which of the ideas do you think you'd, we'd, you could possibly take further and we could possibly develop a little bit more out of all of them from Family Misfortunes to so Drama Idea or... Um... I think the Family Misfortunes is definitely a great one. Wow. The 100 extended that family the members. Me. Sorry? That is the best one for me. Okay. Um, so could you could you just practice the... Uh, uh, could you just see if you could do that? Uh, uh. Bit more? <coughs> bit more? <coughs> right, that's it. Yeah, okay. um, <laughs> lovely. Um, <laughs> sorry, get some water for um, Sheena, thank you very much for your time. I know you must be a very busy person, so thank you so much. We'll, we'll be in touch. Well, our people will talk to your people, yeah. I guess. Yeah, great. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Thank you so much for calling. Uh, lovely. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Take care. Bye. 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 Oh, well, that went How well. How accommodating. Yeah, she's great, isn't she? I wonder what the pay is. Oh, I, I don't <laughs> think that was... That's why she was saying yes. She thought it was free, I think. Mean.